couple of assists that should have gone in. And I thought that mentality. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a winner's mindset. That's a winner's mindset. I was like, he was, he knew exactly. That's what I love about tennis or golf. You know, it's not about the team. It's about the player. He was going to follow in the footsteps of all the great England forwards that have played okay. at Manchester United. That didn't happen. I have to ask you if, if you want to clarify the Harry Kane situation because <laughs> I'll tell you why. The reason why I say this is I had the dream. So I'm a Manchester United supporter. Everyone in my community knows that very well. Right. Uh, I have always had the dream that Harry Kane, when Wayne Rooney retired, mm -hmm. Harry Kane was going to come to Manchester United. Okay. And he was going to follow in the footsteps of all the great England forwards that have played okay. at Manchester United. That didn't happen. No, it I'm didn't still happen. holding on to that dream. But you want him to go somewhere else. Well, listen, <laughs> listen, let me just clarify, right? I love Harry Kane. I love Human Son. Human Son is my favorite football player. He is a hero. I love Tottenham. I'm a big Tottenham fan. But I just, I know that those players could thrive and have the best careers ever Mate, somewhere else. <laughs> I just want to see, I want to see Harry lifting a trophy and I want to see Son there by him. And, and, and I just don't think. Yeah, you're rooting for the individual. Yeah. yeah. I'll always be a Tottenham fan. I, you know, I love being a Spurs fan. Yeah. My brother Harry and I, you know, we've really bonded over it. But I, I just, you know, Harry yeah. Kane's one of the best strikers in the world. Yeah, and yeah. Um, he would fit into almost any team. And I'd love to see him on top. Yeah. And I, interesting question. Do you think he would have had a similar season to Haaland had he gone to see? Ooh, ooh, that's a... Uh, I, I personally think... Because I think Haaland's amazing. I, th I think Haaland with his age, his strength and his mentality. You know what's crazy about Haaland is I saw this interview and, you know, obviously it, hate, it hurts me to say it, but City and all. But when Haaland did this interview, he just scored like, I can't remember which game it was. He's unbelievable. He scored, he scored like five goals that game. And he was like, I should have had seven. And, and the interview was like, come on, though, take some credit. Like you scored five goals. And he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. But... He goes, you know, there were a couple of assists that should have gone in. And I thought that mentality. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a winner's it, mindset. That's a winner's mindset. I was like, he was, he knew exactly which opportunities he missed. And I was like, so I think it's an AIDS thing. Yeah. I think it's a strength thing. I feel like Haaland's kind of like, I've always compared Haaland to like Ivan Drago. Like he was made in the lab. Right, right, right. Like he yeah. was made, like he was manufactured yeah, yeah, to yeah. be this incredible talent. He is and, incredible. And I think City's good with like, he, he admits like he scores a lot of tap-ins. And I think that's his game. Yeah, but man, there's no in a good on a scorecard, you know? No, like, no, in a good way. Yeah, I'm saying, totally. I'm saying like he's been built in that way and City play that way. I don't know if Kane's a tapping guy. Like sure. He's, he's, his, score, his goals have generally been a bit more diverse in that sense. Magic. Like, yeah. Magic is the way I yeah. would describe Kane. Yeah. No, I, lo I love him. <laughs> and obviously it's a typical thing of like the press are out saying, oh, Tom Holland's begging Kane to leave. I'm not begging him to leave. I love that he's at our club because I'd be terrified to see where we'd be without him. But I just love to see him have the career I know he could have. Yeah. What do you think of Jude Bellingham to Madrid? I think that's a great move. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> you just want everyone to I love Madrid. that. And what's, even, what's interesting <laughs> is that all of my friends in Spain are from Barcelona. I have yeah. one friend from Madrid. I've always been a big Barca supporter because I used to go to Barcelona all the time as a kid. I had a few weekends where I'd say to my mum and dad, oh, I'm going to my friend's house and I would go to Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> How did you pull that off, man? Just like, sneaky, bro. If I told um, my Indian parents that, I was like, yeah, I they, got, they know the dial tone straight away. And mate, that. I got caught. My mum called me up and was like, where are you? I was... I was trying to say, I was at my friend's house. She said, no, you're not, because I'm here. <laughs> and I was in La Ramblas in Barcelona. Um, but I just I just love players. I think Jude Bellingham's amazing. And, you know, I just love to see what he could do there. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's, totally. uh, the thing for me is I love legacy. I love seeing what players can do. Yeah. I'm less about the teams. That's what I love about tennis or golf. You know, it's not about the team. It's about the player. So I would just love to see what he could do there. And, you know, I'm sure one day we'll see England raise a trophy and, oh, and I, we've got such a great young team and and um, I admire them all. But yeah, I think it's a great move for him. Yeah. He's only 19 or I something know. like that. It's insane. Yeah, he's 19. I mean, that's wild. It's incredible. He's a year older than my brother Paddy. <laughs> that's mental. <laughs>